All right, once again, I thought we were we were right there and, you know, late in the game or we needed to make some shots and get stops and we just didn't do it. Give a lot of credit to Hofstra. Um, got a lot of seasoned guys that uh, just know how to win and uh, they made winning plays on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, I thought that was the difference in the game. So uh, we just got to keep fighting, keep plugging away and, um, you know, keep showing them what it looks like and try to get over the hump. Cam, how happy are you? I know it's a loss, so that's not a good thing. But how how well do you feel that guys like Mike and Ty have reacted to uh, the added responsibility they're going to have to have now and the rest of the way with without Jalen on the wing with them? Yeah, um, Dan, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I don't want to talk about any particular player. Uh, I think as a team that you know we understand that we're undermanned and. Uh, that we lost one of our better players and guys are going to have to step up. Uh, I thought, I think as a team that we realized that and, and um, guys understand the sense of urgency and the workload that, that they're going to have to take on. So uh, I think as a team, we, we really, you know, we understand what's going on. How pleased were you with the shot selection first half? It seemed like uh, you guys were getting some good ball movement. What did they, or what changed in the second half that kind of uh, didn't allow you to get those same? Yeah, we had to put different guys in different places. Uh, you know, whether that was uh, the guys we felt comfortable with, more comfortable with in the second half. Maybe they were in in the first half. Uh, so we had to put guys in different places. And I didn't think we hit the middle as much as we needed to. Uh, because of that, I thought, you know, they got a couple of steals um, in the zone. We were trying to hit the middle and we got a little – passive and didn't try to make that middle pass. And, uh, I think that really hurt us, you know, not touching the middle and um, making the right play when we did touch the middle. I think that really hurt us. So, uh, you know, we got to go back and look at it and try to get better from it and keep, keep it moving. You have always talked about that this COVID situation, that's the one constant across the board that every team is dealing with. But it seems like right now you guys – are dealing with an abundance of injuries. Have you ever dealt with anything like this through your t times as an assistant? And and how difficult is this? I've never I've never dealt with anything like this. Um, but I'm not one to make excuses either, John. Uh, it's difficult. You know, you can't have uh, productive practices really. You know, you have eight guys that you have to work with. Sometimes seven. Uh, so you got to figure out how to, you know, navigate through it. And it's tough. It's tough. It's been up and down, and uh, but it's something that we have to stay connected through and and try to figure our way out through it, and um, you know figure out how to put some wins together. With that was, go ahead, John. With, with that frustration, because I, I mean, it, there there seems to be a lot of frustration in your voice. How do you turn that around tomorrow and, and turn that into something positive that you guys can try to rebound? Yeah, we, you know, we've got to go back and look at the tape as a, as a staff, and then we'll show it to our guys later. Um, and, you know, I think what it comes down to, uh, in my opinion, I'm one of the, you know, I'm not old, but I'm kind of got the old school mentality of, um, you know, you just, you know, you can't let the guy in front of you, you just you can't let him beat you. You know, you got to have some pride. And that's what I believe in. Got to have some pride, and um, you got to have some belief on both ends of the floor. And um, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit. And I just need, you know, I need more fight. I need more fight, and and I'll get it. You know, I got some guys in that locker room that care about winning, and uh, we just need to fight a little bit harder and believe a little bit more in in ourselves. So, um, you know, we'll keep working on that, and, and we'll get better with it, and, and come back out tomorrow uh, focused and, and ready to take on a good Hofstra team, um, you know, a team that, that, that's really good and used to winning. Uh, we'll get ready to roll and, and come out and, you know, fight hard. To care, John Bowen was back, you know, played one minute last weekend and then today, you know, seemed to be in the right place in the right time for a long stretch of that game. How pleased were you with his ability to find the John Bowen that he was before the before he was out? 
that's definitely a, it's a bright spot having someone come off the bench and, and provide some production for us. Um, and as a team, uh, we ha- we need that more than anything. And, you know, we just got to keep getting contributions from, from everybody.